Yo, what's up, Tenno? This your boy, Ren Ten Tenny, and I just want to start off by saying we're finally going to get the Planes of Eidolon update on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so thank you, DE, finally. Uh, but I, was, I really want to just talk about Necros and his deluxe skin, as well as his builds, uh, make him an overall better frame to suit your playstyle. Um, he's definitely good for survival missions. Um, and he's really easy to get uh, compared to a lot of frames like Nidus, Bruh. Octavia, Bruh. Harold, despite his chassis, Bruh. which is like straight cheese to get. Uh, but he is a very obtainable frame compared to a, a lot of others. And I just want to talk about his his builds his uh, abilities, like his passive, and how you can mod him. But um, you can locate him to farm for at the Orican Derelict uh, assassination. You got to fight Lephantis, he, which he ain't too bad if you got a good squad that actually knows what they're doing. But let's go ahead and jump into his uh, abilities uh, and his passive. All right, so I'm not going to read the descriptions on here. Y'all can see them for yourselves. I'm going to start off with the first ability, Soul Punch. All it is is, uh, bam, in your face, get out my face, I'm done with you. It ain't nothing to write about. It ain't a special ability. It's his first ability. It could be replaced easily. <laughs> his second ability, Terrify, is his uh, panic button. That's that, oh, it got real type of deal. <laughs> It got real, and I need to get out of here. And it does have an augment that I'll show in uh, a uh, er, later in the video. So look out for that. Desecrate, that's his best ability. It's his farming ability. You know, you get the extra loot from it. And um, now that it's active, you don't have to spam it as much. Then you got his last ability, Shadows of the Dead, which is his uh, survival ability. Uh, ability. I mean, that, that's what it is. Uh, because with the augment, you can take more, you can take damage um, and it's dealt out to the other guys. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm about to get one shot. Now, you'll still get one shot and in game content, uh, in game content most likely, but that's a whole different ball game. But Still, like, his overall kit is really good. And as far as his passive, it's, it's the equivalent to, like, a quick thinking. It just, except it gives you a little bit of health back when you're on the brink of death. So, so I think it's a really dope uh, passive ability. But, you know, it, it really caters to your play style and what you like. I personally think Necros is a really dope frame. But um, let me go ahead and jump into the next section, which is showcasing the abilities. All right. So like Kevin Hart said, don't make me laugh. <laughs> and then start laughing. Don't make me laugh. But no, nah, seriously, his first ability, yo, uh, Soul Punch, is that don't make me laugh. I mean, <laughs> I trashed him, but that's because he trash level. And I know at the end, it ain't going to do much. But his next ability... His panic that oh, it's about to get real ability is uh, very helpful because you'll you'll see if you're in a panic situation you just hit oh, and they they running away and then they susceptible to uh, damage multipliers and you see critting them. All right, so his uh, augment you can see that it slows them down significantly. Look at this. The bro like, oh, I can't get away. Nah, bro, you're going to die today. <laughs> His third ability, as you can see, it's active. Once it starts pulsing like that, you know it's active. You don't have to keep spamming it like you used to because he used to be really bad about that. But you don't have to worry about that now. And you get the extra loot, as you can see, uh, once you kill him. All right, so his shadows are dead, as you can see. With, I have the augment on, so it's an armor reduction. And they're my minions. That's what I call them. They do your bidding for you. And it's really dope because once they die, you can actually desecrate them as well. So that's that's a pretty dope feature. But let's go ahead and jump into the build so y'all can see um, how I like to play. 
All right, now, so notice how I said how I like to play. This is not the gospel. This is not the gospel of all builds. So my first build is my survival build. I have Despoil. You know, you get that. Instead of using energy, you use health. So what I combat with that is rejuvenation. It's self-explanatory because rejuvenation gives me that health back. So after that, um, what I like to combat with my Despoil is Equilibrium because it drops the health orbs. It converts uh, energy orbs into health orbs that you have extra. So, all right. So then my counter for this is to help me get more survivability is my Shadows of the Dead augment, uh, Shield of Shadows, because you get that buff. Um, you get that extra protection. You don't have to worry about um, getting one shot and like early content because the old Necros, it would it, it was easy to die. But now you don't have to worry about that. And then for my uh, Despoil, my third ability, my Desecrate, I have natural talent. Natural talent because it's really slow. On to my next build, my Desecrate build. This is just primarily for... If I just want to sit in one spot in a survival mission or in a defense mission like IO to get resources, I just hit it. I stay in that area to defend it. And then if I need to, I'll run out and go get the resources. But I have Cunning Drift uh, for the extra range. I have Overextended. I have my basic Equilibrium because I'm using Despoil, which is shown right here. And... This build, you don't really have to focus too much. I have enemy sense on here, but that's if I'm doing like survival and I want to find out where the enemies are because it's a survival mission. You need to know where the spawns, where the spawns are going to be. And then I have continu continuity on here, but that's really just for um, if I need to use my Shadows of the Dead, um, which is very rare, but I like to have a backup. And of course, I got Vitality. And once again, like I said, I got overextended. And that's so I can have that maximum range. All right, so the last build I got is my Terrify build. This is the one I have with the uh, Augment, which is, uh, man, I, I saw it in like a, I forgot where I saw it, but it was just really interesting to me, so I scooped it up. Um, but I have Rage on this build, which is different from some of my other builds. Um and that's because I have Prime Flow on there because I'm going to be using my Terrify, which is going to cost me energy. So I need to have a decent amount. And I got it maxed out, so it's going to be it's going to put me pretty high up there as far as energy. But I don't have to worry about it too much. But yeah, Terrify, as you can see, yo, is dope. 60% uh, reduced movement speed. So that's a significant drop. Uh, for the enemies that they have to worry about yo this concludes the video thank you so much for watching if you like the video go ahead and subscribe to my channel make sure you click the bell so you can get those notifications also if you didn't like the video go ahead and hit that dislike button and let me know in the comment section why you didn't like the video so i can improve on it uh, this your boy ren 10 Tenny. once again thank you so much for watching i'm out peace Oh,